Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Banana Party is a children's game about these monkeys hanging, but like Battleship, your opponent can't see it. They will roll the dice, and you have to twist it to see these little pegs to see if the monkey falls off. And if the monkey falls off, you gain bananas for doing so. It almost seems like it's backwards, like the monkey should be shaking the tree to get the bananas off, but so be it. The game works. It's really cute. It's something my kids really, really liked, but it does play a lot like Battleship with dice. So the dice will tell you how many pegs you can turn or how far you can move, and then just by trial and error, the children will try to turn it and get your banana or your monkeys off so they can gain bananas, which are victory points. Interesting. So what does this teach children? First of all, the idea of victory points. You're counting to points. It does do kind of deductive with the trial and error, and you're trying to figure it out. So like Battleship, it will teach you that aspect of gaming. Other than that, it's just a luck fest. I mean, you roll the dice, you might get to turn over a couple more than me. If you luckily pick it, something falls over. And you need that kind of luck in children's games. You really do, because that gives the parents the ability to actually play the game. A parent can actually try it this game and not have to hold back to you know keep it from being a wipeout, you know, winning 10 to nothing or something. You can play with your child, and your child may get lucky and just legitimately beat you in this because the luck factor is so high, and you need that sometimes in these children games. Unless you're the parent who just wants to play chess with their five-year-old and dominate them to build character or whatever you're trying to build, if you want your child to have a chance in the game, you need a little bit of luck involved in it, and Banana Party does give it to you. Now, we've had this game for a while. I'll be honest, some children games can be fun for the adults, others can't. The trial and error thing was a little bit boring to me as the parent playing it. And it's important to state that, because a lot of these children games, you'll be playing with your kids. My kids loved this game. Now, I'm going to purge this game for the simple reason that we have a lot of other children's games, and I feel like that we're not missing anything. Now, if you found this cheap or you found this at a price and you wanted to buy it, I think you're going to have a decent game here. The components are fantastic, and your children are going to love this game. They, my kids wanted to play it over and over and over again, and they loved that they were actually in the game. Now, they didn't see the luck that was involved. That was just trial and error, but they really 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 liked it for a long time we moved on to other games because we played it to death so it'll be leaving my collection but look this game lasted a long time with my kids my kids are getting older now so younger kids kids maybe who can't read kids who want to learn that trial and error counting up victory points here you go so banana party i would say is a good maybe like a seven six or a seven on the BGG scale for children's games. It's not going to knock your socks off. Nothing inventive. But it is a better battleship. So if you're looking at buying battleship, other than the theme, some people are really going to like that battleship war theme. This is a better version of battleship, to be honest, and one that I can recommend for that. So while I'm purging it, I'm telling you, I got years out of this game. Here's Banana Party by Queen Kids. This is a kids version of the Queen line. You can see a very colorful box with a monkey and a snake on it and some bananas. When you open it up, you're gonna see that you have a lot of empty space in here. The box is kinda of way too big. You're gonna get a lot of wooden pieces. You're gonna get these little wooden things that you'll use during the game. You're gonna get a bunch of different little monkeys with cute artwork on it of different colors on the back. You're gonna get a die that you'll be required to sticker yourself, which will be okay. And then you're going to have these things, which you can use to organize the box if you so choose. And you have a little banana counters that are cardboard. Everything in here is pretty good. My kids have played with this quite a bit. You can see these are the little boards that you'll utilize. They have really cute artwork on it. Everything is cute, but they're exactly the same, as you can tell. And if you can see, they have holes in them that you'll be utilizing during the game. You're going to get a rule book of a few different languages which we'll take a look at in a few and you'll have enough in here to play for four players everything is really good cardboard very colorful and kids really like the look of this so here are the rules you're going to see it's just a one pager you're going to have the object of the game with some verbiage up there picture of all the components through here set up depending on how many people you're playing with and then this will be the game of the rules really this is how you set prepare it and this is when you roll the dice, what you'll be doing. 
and how you get to the end of the game and winner. It's very easy. My kids were able to play this on their own from a very young age, and they still just had fun just kind of messing around with it also. So these are the rules for Banana Party. So to set the game up, you're going to have two bases and two walls. You can kind of see you can sit two things in here. So you'll set these in just like so. And then you can set the other one kind of inside here. So there'll be a little bit of space in between them. And you can have these set up. Oh. Eh, whatever's easier for you to get it together. It's always harder when you're trying to do it on the camera. And then you'll set this down. You can kind of see it's set up like this with the holes. And then you're going to have a space in the center of them. Then everybody will get five of these little wood things, which they will stick through the game board, kind of connecting the two parts. Do you see that from above? And you will stick these through, and this is what they will twist there in the game, and everybody will have five of these. Now, if this two boards aren't lined up properly, then the holes won't be lined up, and they won't stick through. So you just have to switch it out until it fits through. So now you have the five on that side and the five on this side. Then what the players will do is they will take their four monkeys, and they will hang two of them on the back end where the other player cannot see, so these are kind of hidden on two of five pegs. You only ever have two on a, on a spot, so the other two will just go down beside you, ready to be played. Then you take the supply of bananas, which will act like victory points. You will set those aside so players can easily grasp them when they score points. Then a player will roll the die on their turn and do whatever action is listed on it. When all of the bananas are taken from the pile, the supply pile, the game will end, and whoever has the most bananas will be crowned your winner. What you're going to do on your turn is you're going to roll the dice. If you roll the three or possibly the two sides, they will work exactly the same, which means a player will, on this side, take this and rotate this. That's one. Nothing fell off. Two, nothing fell off. And maybe they would rotate this one, and that would cause a monkey to fall. In this case, the monkey is carrying two bananas, so that player would take two bananas from the general supply, thus scoring two victory points. And each of the bananas may have a different amount on them. As you can see here, there are two twos and two ones to complete your set. Now, if you were to roll this one with a picture of a monkey on it, you would take one of your monkeys from the supply and you would hang it up here where the other players could not see because they're sitting on that side and you just hang it somewhere where another monkey is not already located. So if I was placing a monkey, I cannot place it here because there's already one. Maybe I would go down there. If you get the one with the monkey and the banana, once again, I would place a monkey out on the board and I would get to take a banana from the supply, thus scoring a point. So once again, you continue to roll the die on your turn. You take whatever actions. When the bananas are out of the supply, the game is over. Whoever has the most bananas is your winner. Buy this game. This is strictly going to be for uh, children. This is a children's game. The parents aren't going to get a whole lot out of it. Be mindful that you have to put this game together and take it apart every time you play. The components are very well done, so you're not going to have a problem with component quality, but it takes a little bit of setup. So setup's going to take a little bit to set up, and your kids may or may not be able to do that on their own. So this may be a game that you have to play with your kids or set up and let them play. But I prefer a children's game sometimes where they can just set it up themselves and they can go off and play versus a family game, a game I'm going to hold back and play with just the family. Then I don't mind putting it together. This is something more just for kids and the setup may be an encumbrance to some. So just be aware of it. But let me be clear with you. We had years of fun with this game. It's going to be a purge because we've outgrown it and things have moved on. But it was a great keeper for many, many years. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.